Hi everyone, welcome back to Kim Help ASAP. In today's video, we are gonna tackle units that are cubed. So if you've ever watched a medical show, maybe you've heard a doctor say, give me five cc stat. Well, what is a cc? <laughs> a cc is shorthand for a cubic centimeter or a centimeter that is cubed. Spoiler alert, this is a volume. So we are gonna learn how to take a cubic centimeter and convert it into a gallon or a liter or a fluid ounce. So grab your calculators and let's get started. Here is our first problem. It reads, a doctor orders 15 cc's, that's centimeters cubed, for a patient. How many milliliters does the patient receive? So we want to convert from centimeters cubed to milliliters. So we are definitely converting a volume here. Now you may be less familiar with the centimeters cubed being a volume. So let's first just see how that is a volume. A centimeter cubed is best visualized as a cube. where all sides are equal to one centimeter. So that is a cube with length of one centimeter, height of one centimeter, and width of one centimeter. So if I wanted to know the volume of this cube, it would be volume is equal to length times width times height. In this particular case, it would be equal to one centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter, which equals one centimeter cubed. Now that we understand that a centimeter cubed is a measure of volume, let's convert to milliliters, starting with what I was given. Now I need a conversion factor between centimeters cubed and milliliters. This is one of the easiest and frankly, I think most useful conversion factors, one centimeter cubed is equal to one milliliter. It's an easy one to remember and I refer back to this one actually quite often. So here is my conversion factor. Notice I have it set up so that my centimeters cubed cancels and I'm left with milliliters. And now for the easiest conversion ever, 15 <laughs> times one of course equals 15 milliliters. This problem really was just to introduce the concept of what is a centimeter cubed and to recognize that when you have a length cubed, it is going to be a volume. Let's move on to our next problem. It reads, how many centimeters cubed are in 7.52 times 10 to the negative eighth meters cubed? Okay, so we already know that centimeters cubed is a volume. Meters cubed is also a volume. Again, when you see this, this cubic function here, it means that you're dealing with a volume. Now, if you have already seen my video on how to deal with units that are squared, you probably have a good idea where this is going. If you haven't watched that video, you can check out the link above. Starting with what I was given, 7.52 times 10 to the negative eighth meters cubed. The first thing I want to do is think about my conversion from meters to centimeters. This is a metric to metric conversion, so all I need to really understand is that centi means 100. Here is my conversion factor, 100 centimeters in one meter. Now let's deal with the cube function. So in order to make my meters cubed cancel, what I need to do is I need to cube my conversion factor. Now this means I cube the denominator here and also the numerator there. Now my meters cubed will cancel. I am left with centimeters cubed, which is exactly what my problem asked for. So all I need to do is put this in my calculator. So I am going to take my 7.52 times 10 to the negative eight, and I'm going to multiply by 100 cubed. Don't forget that cubed function right there. When I do this, I get 0 0.0752 centimeters cubed. On to our next page. Okay, this problem reads, a block is 62.8 inches cubed. How many feet cubed is the block? Again, because I have units that are cubed, I know I'm dealing with volume. So let's convert inches cubed into feet cubed. 
As always, I'm going to start with what I was given, 62.8 inches cubed. The first part of this conversion is to convert inches into feet. I know that there are 12 inches and in one foot. Here is that conversion factor right here. Of course, inches is not going to cancel with inches cubed, so now I need to deal with my cubed portion. So I'm going to cube the denominator and then cube the numerator. Again, making sure that if I cube one part of the conversion factor, I have to cube the other. Now my inches cubed cancels. I am left with feet cubed, which is what the problem asked for. I can plug this into my calculator. So I'm going to take my 62.8 and I'm going to divide by 12 cubed. Again, don't forget this cubed here. My final answer is 0 0.0363 feet cubed. Next problem. A recipe calls for 85 fluid ounces of milk. How many meters cubed is this volume? And then they give us a conversion factor of there are 29.57 milliliters in one fluid ounce. This is definitely not going to be a one step conversion. We're gonna to have to string a couple of steps together here. So I'm moving from fluid ounces, which is a volume, to meters cubed, which also is a volume. I'm also moving from the imperial system into the metric or SI system. To put together my roadmap, if you will, for this problem, what I'm seeing here is this conversion factor they gave us is going to take me from imperial to metric. And because they gave me ounces, I can first convert my 85 fluid ounces into milliliters. Of course, milliliters is not the same as meters cubed. This is where I go to my conversion factor of one milliliter is equal to one centimeters cubed. Now, of course, you can ask Google and you can find the conversion factor from milliliters to meters cubed, but I like to work these problems as if you are working on a quiz or homework and you probably do not know that conversion factor off the top of your head. But this is one that I definitely know off the top of my head, so I am going to use it to help myself. So once I'm in milliliters, I can use my very simple conversion factor to get to centimeters cubed. And that helps me because that now I have a length that is cubed. And then I simply am converting from centimeters cubed to meters cubed. Okay, now that I have my rough roadmap kind of planned out, let's put these conversion factors together. As always, starting with what I'm given my 85 ounces, and this is specifically fluid ounces, because I started with fluid ounces of milk. Remember in Imperial, you have ounces, which is a measure of mass and fluid ounces, which is a measure of volume. However, because I'm not converting in between um, a mass and a volume here, I'm just using ounces. Okay, first I'm going to use the conversion factor they gave me right here to convert from ounces to milliliters. Again, making sure that your ounces cancel here. Now I have converted into milliliters. Remembering my roadmap that I planned out, my next step is to use my handy dandy one milliliter equals one centimeters cubed conversion factor. Here it is right here. Of course, setting this up so that milliliters cancel and now I have converted into centimeters cubed. For my final step, I'm going to take this centimeters cubed and convert into meters cubed like the problem asked me to do. Here is my conversion factor. Notice that first I am simply converting from centimeters to meters. However, that does not allow me to cancel centimeters cubed. So my next step is of course cube the denominator, which means I must cube the numerator. And now I can get my centimeters cubed to cancel. I have converted into meters cubed, which is what the problem asked for. So at this point, I'm ready to grab my calculator and actually do this calculation. Starting with my 85, I'm first going to multiply by 29.57. Then most people don't put this in your calculator, but in essence, you are multiplying by one here. And then for my final step, I'm going to divide by 100 cubed. Again, it's very easy to forget that cubed, but you wanna make sure you don't just divide by 100, but divide by 100 cubed. My final answer is 2.01 times 10 to the negative third meters cubed. 
Okay, let's work one more problem, one that's maybe a little bit more difficult. This problem reads, a piece of wood measures 3.9 inches wide by 5.8 inches high and 61 inches long. How many meters cubed is this piece of wood? And they give us a conversion factor of one inch equals 2.54 centimeters exactly. So you might be asking, wait, how is this a volume problem? Well, there are a couple of things that tell me it's a volume problem. The, the first I think is most obvious is how many meters cubed is this piece of wood? So meters cubed is a way to measure volume. So therefore this must be some kind of volume problem. But also I have a piece of wood here and I have one, two, three measurements for it, which means I can find the volume of this shape. So I think the first thing to do is to sketch out this piece of wood. Okay, this is not exactly going to be to scale, but I just want to get something down on paper so that I can put in my measurements. Okay, so we have, I'm gonna call this the width, 3.90 inches wide. Um, I'm gonna call this measurement 5.85 inches high. And then this long measurement, of course, is the 61 inches long. Now, depending on how you drew your piece of wood, you might put in your measurements in different places. And, and that is perfectly fine because how do we calculate the volume of this piece of wood? Well, I'm simply gonna use volume equals length times width times height. So because they're all multiplied by each other and we're not worried about something being added, subtracted, or divided, this is why it doesn't matter which dimension you use for each of your measurements here, because we are simply going to multiply 61 times 3.9 times 5.85. Now, when we do this, we are also multiplying our units. So this is inches times inches times inches, which gives us an answer of 1.39 times 10 to the third inches cubed. So be careful that you're not just focusing on the numbers and you forget about the units. You must take into account both of them because this is what tells us that we have a volume is we have a unit cubed. For the second part of this problem, we need to take this volume, this 1.39 times 10 to the third inches cubed, and we need to convert it into meters cubed like the problem asked us for. So this is now much more like the problems we have seen. We're gonna take inches cubed, convert to meters cubed. Yes, it's going to take a couple of steps. So let's see those steps. Starting with the volume that I calculated, the 1.39 times 10 to the third inches cubed. My problem gave me a conversion factor of one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. This is a way I can get inches into centimeters. And once I'm in centimeters, then I'm in the metric system, which of course I need to be in for my final answer. So here is my conversion factor that I was given. However, of course, inches cubed is not gonna cancel with simply inches. So I need to cube the denominator and cube the numerator. Now my inches cubed cancels and I have converted into centimeters cubed. Okay, so I am almost there, but I do need one more conversion. I need to go from centimeters cubed into meters cubed. So here is my conversion factor. I am first focusing again on getting centimeters to meters. However, centimeters is not going to cancel with centimeters cubed. So I'm going to cube the denominator and cube the numerator. Now my centimeters cubed cancels. I'm left with meters cubed, which is exactly what the problem asked me for. Okay, now I'm ready to put this in my calculator. Again, I've got two steps where I'm cubing, so I need to be really careful that I don't forget those cubes. So I'm gonna take my 1.39 times 10 to the third. I am first multiplying by 2.54 cubed and then I'm dividing by 100 cubed. It's really easy to forget those cubes, which is why I keep repeating myself, don't forget those cubes. My final answer is 0 0.0228 meters cubed. 
Converting volumes is tricky because they can be presented as either a length cubed or as a derived unit such as liter. But hopefully after working these problems, you're much more comfortable converting volumes no matter how they're presented to you. Now, if you want to learn how to do other types of conversions, you can check out these videos here and I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.